What's going on, everybody? The Maverick here, and I'm bringing you another state of the game. Uh, the whole reason why I'm bringing you another state of the game is that we actually have one this week. And lo and behold, the developers have decided to answer all our questions. All the questions to everything that we've ever wanted to know. No, not really. Um, basically, and you can eye roll because this is exactly what I did um, watching this. They're going to answer all of our exotic questions. One, there were some changes. Uh, let's see, the Thieves Den on PlayStation 4 is going to be fixed with TU9. Um, the Aces and Eights gear set. Um, the Poker Face talent is fixed. Um, the Booster Hive um, is going to be fixed as well. Um, saying, you know, the description is going to be fixed. Don't expect anything lavish. Um, now, there was a some subtle stealth nerfs going on there. Um, and i got to be honest with you guys. Like, I've gotten to the point now where I don't really like listening to to the state of the, the state of the game, mostly because those they're very hard to follow, and the guys try to do this play around. Um, they, I don't know, they do this back and forth, kind of like I want to be witty, but not really. What it comes off as is just kind of childish. I would much rather they just publish the state of the game. Or maybe they need a new person, someone a little less awkward maybe. Um, and I don't know if that's what they're going for, but it gets annoying at times when I just want the information and I want it to be displayed to me or presented to me in a way that I clearly understand whether or not it is good or bad. Like, that's, that's really what I'm looking for in the state of the game. So, that being said, stealth nerfs. They made a subtle hint at changing best-in-slot items and maybe upgrading some underperforming talents. The... They use the word change to best in slot items. And I can only imagine what this really means. I would, I mean, I would almost guarantee you a nerf to the M1A for sure, since it's out ahead by so far. Um, and I, I love the way in one of the previous State of the Games, they mentioned that, oh, Glass cannons not being used as much as everybody thinks. It's like, yeah, that's because the people that aren't using glass cannon or, you know, aren't using an M1A or they're using some, like, they're still using an assault rifle. Um, they don't really know what's going on. They're a casual player that won't play the game the way they want, not what's best. And that's the, that's the subtle hint that, has is being tossed at them all the time is that players just they're wanting to play the game the way they want to play not the way the game is currently geared to be played so that being said i'm telling y'all y'all need to be picking up some new knee pads more than likely new knee pads um a new holster um, try to get something that you like that's God rolled because I guarantee you we're going to see nerfs to all the named items that give those sweet buffs. Moving right along. So they, they're going to fix, you can't see my air quotations, but they're there. They're going to fix exotic items with minimum rolls. Okay, so what that means is, is that when you play a, a certain difficulty, normal to legendary, when, a, when an exotic item drops, 
it will drop with minimum rolls based on the level that you're playing. So normal will have its own set. Now that's not saying you still couldn't get a god roll completely. But what it is saying is that the rolls will be guaranteed to be a certain level. Now, I don't know why they couldn't do that with all the items. Since that would probably fix most of our gear you know, problems that we're having. But let's just put that to the side. We're not supposed to ask that question. We're just, we're, we're focused on exotics, folks. Exotics. Don't worry about how the game handles with the 99% of the other gear. Let's worry about this. So anyway, moving right along. So you get, you get that one drop that you've been looking for, and instead of it having 2% across the board rolled on it, it's going to have some sort of minimum configuration, and that's going to fix everything. I don't know. Aside from that, we're now moving into a reconfiguration station uh, that's going to be part of the crafting bench, where you're going to take your crappy rolled exotic, and you're going to essentially re-roll re it with new attributes. Now, you're not increasing its attributes per se. What you're actually going to be doing is if, say, you do have that 2% across the board exotic, you can re-roll it for apparently unspecified amount of resources. I'm going to guess it's going to require exotic resources because, I mean, nothing else does, so why not? All right, so you re-roll the thing and, it's go and it goes from 2% across the board to it gets you 6% more damage. Um, let's see, it, get it goes from 2, 2, and 2 to uh, maybe... 5%, 8%, and 10%. Whatever they're, whatever you're re-rolling. I don't know, man. I mean, this sounds a lot like something out of Diablo 3, but I won't mention that, be, you know, because, you know, these guys are coming up with all this, th all this new stuff um, that, you know, they couldn't add into the game originally that we totally didn't have in Division 1. So, I don't know, man. Y'all have to tell me what's up with that, because uh, apparently I am blind. Um, so, I would start, you know, all those, you know, bag-rolled, um, you know, exotic components. I would definitely save up on those. Um, now, they one thing I did like, but it's going to come with, you know, the caveat as well. Um, you can re you can reconfigure those level thirty exotics that you've been you know hoarding more than likely like me. Um, you can and it will become level forty. Woo! Uh, it just doesn't keep the rolls. So all those god rolls that we have at level thirty are just going to be re-rolled into forties. With meh, I don't know whatever whatever it comes out. Um, now you can reconfigure as many times as your resources allows you. And you hopefully you get what you're looking for. Um, so the pre-order exotics that people got, you know, that we wasted our money on, those aren't going to be included because why would they? It's not like we paid for them or anything. So F us, right? I don't know, guys. F us. Anyway. We've got the new Saturn uh, boss coming out. You know, get that next level in the manhunt that totally won't be like the previous manhunt, only it probably will be. So I'm sure you already know how to do all that. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, they they reloaded their... They, re, they kind of reiterated on their roadmap and... I mean, apparently we're supposed to be right there, you know, running steady. We'll see. 
We'll see. Um, we still have the apparel cash that we need to be, you know, knocking out. Granted, the items aren't really that great. Um, the gorilla suits and all that good stuff, it's all right. Um, pretty sweet mask at the end of all of it. I don't know if y'all have gotten it yet, but if you haven't, that's kind of worth it to me anyway. But there you have it, folks. Yet another state of the game. I don't know. I mean, I feel like they're definitely trying to make progress. So, as far, like, if you were to give them a 1 out of 10 rating, i give them right up there with a 7. You know, they're not really focusing on the things that I feel like they should be focusing on, but I do see where a lot of people are just die-hard grinding these exotics um, because they that's their thing. You know, they want to collect all the stuff. And they're coming out with, like, 2% exotics. And I totally get that. I mean, that being said, let's... I, I do want to touch on the subject of what an exotic really is. And why it's probably not really worth it to really grind them out. Um, other than the eagle bearer for a little while, there was no such thing as best in slot exotics. Um, if anything, the exotics have always been kind of janky, kind of, you know, it's broken in its own little way that you're, it's going to require you to play, um, you know, you have to play a specific way. And that being said, it's never going to be that, you're never going to get that 100%. It's, this one is just light years better than everything else, you know. If that was the case, it wouldn't be named Exotic. It'd be named Legendary or, you know, uh, I don't know. They'd, they would give it some other name than Exotic. Now, that being said, most of the Exotics are straight garbage. Um, a lot of them have little quirks that when you start reading about them, you're like, oh my God, that sounds like it's going to be so amazing. And then you start shooting it, and you're like, oh god, I literally cannot hit anything with this. Looking at you, Merciless. I'm just saying, that's that's just the reality of the Division Two exotics. Um, there's no, I don't think they're gonna go back to that state where we had, you know, the house, uh, the big Alejandro. Like I don't, I don't think we're going back to that, gentlemen, where one exotic makes or breaks you. You know, it would be cool if the exotics did have a lot more utility to them because currently the only thing that really adds utility is the BTSU gloves. You could say Acosta's backpack also, but I don't know. I mean, none of the weapons feel good. There's, um, there's just nothing there, man. I see a lot of people using them, and I think they're using them because they think they're cool. But none of them are overpowered, and I feel like that's probably where they need to be. I mean, I would adjust them uh, individually and not as a whole, but it's whatever, man. It's If you like chasing exotics, by all means... Find that thing that you like to do, and if your thing is chasing exotics, do it, man. Just do it. You know, not to sound like Nike. But anyway, you've been listening to me, and I'm out. <laughs>